Hi there YouTube, it is I, the one, the only, Nadia Exotica. I feel like I kind of wanted to do something a little different, I guess. <laughs> well, is it? I think it kind of is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I wanted to kind of, kind of take you along a night in the life of yours truly. A transgender webcam model. Um, I would say typical night, but there is no typical night. Honestly, it's just like you never know what you're going to get. Truly. Could be good. Could be bad. Could be annoying. But I just kind of wanted to um, see where the night takes me. Um, essentially, so I just finished the dishes. I want to go on like soon, like relatively soon because... Yeah, I'm trying to get on a little earlier because, um, my, I noticed like the crowd is a little bit better, um, earlier for me now, whereas before my kind of crowd was a night crew and I really liked going on later at night. Ooh, let me not do that. When I first started, I was doing split shifts to kind of see what would stick and the night time was what worked best for me. Um, I just got these little jewels and I kind of wanted to play around with them. Um, they're, it's way better like using my broken nail than those tweezers they provided. I don't know what they expect you to do with them. Like look, what, what do you do with this? This is too, it's curved and it's like, there's stickers. Um, so now what I noticed like coming back, cause okay, for those who don't know, I... <laughs> I haven't been on webcam in like months. Like I hadn't up until recently when I, st I started to do it again. Oops. Oh no, I keep thinking I'm dropping them too. Um, and being back on, I noticed um, it's kind of best to go on earlier in the evening. So I'm gonna give it a shot. Although I still have yet to go on early in the morning, like early, early in the morning. I was saying that in a previous video that I used to stream like super, super, like up until like 4 a.m. Pacific Standard. And now, obviously I don't, but like something I've never tried was going on um, like early in the morning, like four or five, and then streaming all throughout the morning. I kind of wanted to give that a shot, but I mean, I'm just going to kind of go with the flow. You know, I never have done, I've never done a camathon, and I think that's like a popular thing that people try and do, like do a full day of camming or at least like stream nonstop. I kind of like that idea too, just because you can get a feel for what works, I guess, what times are better, but I don't know. I haven't, I've never done that. I've considered it. Maybe actually my regular tweezers might work better actually. These tweezers might be a lot more effective. Um, but I figured I could do with this video just to try and give you uh, an idea or a look into what I do. So um, I just got these body jewels on Amazon and I wanted to apply them. I'm feeling a little extra tonight. <laughs> I wanted to see what they look like on. These are the Aurora Borealis ones, the AB. By no means do I, I they're not, I don't think they're, these are not Swarovski. These are just like plastic. Um, so typically I would pick out like a outfit in my treasure trove of ridiculous outfits. Like a bunch of different lingerie. Tonight I'm wearing some like brown red hair um just to give it a shot oh see that's gonna be annoying if I like reach for my hair and they come off um I don't know I felt like judging it up a bit being extra extra instead of just regular extra so we'll see where that gets me <laughs> you really never know um I also wanted to wear um I don't, I have these products sometimes that I just don't wear all the time because I feel like they should be special. And one thing that I never, I would only ever wear on occasion genuinely, I'm like dropping all of these. Um, 
was my Brazilian bum bum cream. It smells amazing. It just is amazing. And I kind of wanted to wear it because it just, it has such an amazing scent to it. Um, so I'm going to put that on. Just anything to make me feel good, honestly. I do feel really good. I feel positive. I feel in the mood. You kind of have to be on when you do such things. When you stream, you have to be on and wanting to be social. So I'm definitely feeling that tonight. Um, and we're just going to see where the fuck the night takes us. Ain't that right? I wanted to like put on some jewels on this tattoo because I felt like it would look really cool. <laughs> um, but this is not what I'm going to be wearing. I'm going to be wearing, I don't know. I have to go look and see. So let's, let's look right now. So out of this entire big box, I chose this skimpy little, um, I don't even know what you call it, but it's a slip. It's like a dress um, because it matches these shoes. And I'm going to finally put on these damn shoes. Um, because I'm fucking tired of them just they're literally just around it was a toss up between these or the the these like really pretty lace up pleasers that I have so I'm just gonna wear these and the dress um this is like one of my uh, two so I have two of these big ass cases full of lingerie the other one has a bunch more toys but I don't know I also have that same dress in black I don't know if you can tell so I'm going with this. This will be easy enough. So tonight I was on for approximately, I think an hour and 35 minutes. I would have stayed on longer, but I did a private with somebody and well, it wasn't a private, it was a password show. They just kept tipping me. It was dope. Um, they tipped me even after I, um, I did a daily payout and then they kept tipping me, which was dope. So I made approximately $218.15 in the span of an hour and 35 minutes. Um, and then that's just on cam. I did some phone work tonight as well. I made about $79 uh, in total on my hotline. So gosh, I can't do math off the top of my head. Let's see. Seven nine one five. Nope, can't do it. It's around <laughs> so two hundred and ninety seven dollars. But if you take into account that Chatterbait takes around three three dollars or three ninety nine or three ninety five, I think when you do a daily payout, and then of course my hotline takes a dollar, but it's still some relatively decent money for what under two hours. It doesn't happen often, at least not these days. Before, and when I was, like, super busy, it was happening. I mean, I would do better than this, but this is good. Like, I feel stable. Like, this is very good for what it's been. So, just thought I'd share. This was a really nice convo, actually, and um, I was happy to make this. It was, like, a pretty long call. My rate fluctuates. Sometimes I'll put the rate per minute at like a dollar fifty-five or a dollar sixty-five, but right now it's at a dollar ninety-nine because it was just so damn slow. Um, when it's at one ninety-nine, I take about one twenty-four. So a dollar twenty-four out of that one ninety-nine, I get to keep. So yeah, it just depends. Sometimes calls are short. Sometimes they're long. I try to like. Sometimes if it's like a really short call and I think someone's just playing on their fucking phone, I'll block the hell out of that number. I don't give a fuck. But yeah, sometimes it's slow. Sometimes it's busy. It just depends. Okay, can I keep it like, can I keep it a stack with you, YouTube? <laughs> I haven't done this well in a very long time, honestly. Um, it used to be like this, kind of, but like consistently. I used to be doing a lot of offline private shows and haven't been doing that so, so much in the past, like, month, I'd say. It's been, like, not nearly as good as, like, in the summer. I don't really know what has happened. I don't really want to sit and dwell. I just act. I just act on shit. I'm like, I just got to find the next best thing. I'm not going to sit here and, like, make shit worse than it is, right? Um... What I notice on webcam, truly, you need to play with the position that you're in, for one. And tonight, the difference was 
I was in front of the cam, like right in front of the camera with um, like on my lounge chair and I haven't been able to do that before. I, like this is the first time I've tried that and it I'd say was a success. Um, but it just really depends. And also I do wanna say if you do webcamming, take it from me please stay on cam when you're having a good night stay your ass on cam when it's like really really good don't stop like do whatever you can to milk it like for real because it's not common that like like you could have a really good night one night and then the next night could be really trash um i will say too like i got off cam went back on and then um, was on for maybe almost just shy of an hour and made 20 bucks. So you know what I mean? Like, don't get off. <laughs> just keep streaming. Keep on going. That's really, truly the honest to God secret. The secret of webcamming is to just ride it out when you're having a busy ass night. Keep on going, okay? Um, but yeah, I mean, it's been it's been a long time since I did relatively well on cam like that like truly the last few times I've been streaming I would make around like 100 bucks um, and even so it's like you, it just it's just all depends um, I'm, th I'm very thankful though because seriously I've been in such a hole for the past two months and normally I would always say too that like I never had two consecutive bad months I'd have a bad month and then I'd have a good month and it this time around it was trash for the month of December and January um November was okay like November I was still doing all right I remember it was like after my birthday when things started to get really bad because of course Christmas was coming up right um so just remain consistent honestly and and give it your fucking best okay <laughs> put in the effort and stay your ass on cam unlike myself take it from me okay learn from me if you have any questions comments concerns or video requests feel free to email me my email is nadiaexotica at gmail.com follow all my links at nadiaexotica.com and also don't forget to read my blog which is nadiascuriotrove.com slash blog and until the next video you will be hearing from me very soon